Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Flying Alaska with the Mimi Herd 37. So we are here in Koyuk. You can hear that wind whipping around. Uh, and in this episode we're going to be going to Sheldon Point. So Koyuk is P-A-K-K, Sheldon Point, S-X-P. Kind of weird seeing the cables on that plane. Well, it seems like too big of a plane to have cables like that, I don't know. All right, let's go inside here. Altimeter, a parking brake is set, so let's go up to FS passengers. Let's make sure we go Air Alaska. Let's go ahead and start this flight up. Got 10 passengers, 83%. I guess we still need to lower the prices a little bit to get everything full. It's a pretty short flight, so just 40% on the fuel. Hopefully we should get a good amount of cargo should be able to get well over 500 pounds in there 550 yeah we should be able to do this Let's put 550 in each there we go set the type it's a normal flight set destination s XP Sheldon Point. Destination set. All right, load immediately. Make sure we got our peaks. Check flight control. Check handset APU. Check thrust level. There we go. Flaps. All right, so get them in here. Seat belts are on. Okay, no smoking seat belts. Battery is on. Left generator, fuel boost, we need our nav and overhead beacon, we get dinged, start her up. Alright, move that all the way up. Fuel boost comes off. Right generator, right fuel boost. This right engine started up. See the prop there. Alright, did I not turn off that starter? Turn off the starter for both of them. Fuel boost. I was wondering why it kind of sounded weird. Yeah, I didn't turn that damn uh, that damn starter off. Avionics bus. Uh, pedal heat, stall vein, prop heat, surface goes to auto. Now, is this the avionics anti-ice? I'm going to try that. Someone said it was top left. I did, there's nothing top left here, and there's that's not really top left. But that might be the... See, avionics AC, I don't understand what AC would... Uh, it seems like air conditioning, obviously, not air conditioning. But I don't know. Maybe that's the anti-ice... But it's weird how that's white and the rest are uh, green for the anti-ice. And it's not in the anti-ice panel. Oh, there we go. Oh, well. Bring up the... I think that might be it. I think that might be it. Actually, it seems to light out today. Set time to like 11.10 or something like that. Check out, see how far it is. It's only 175 miles. We're going to go up to about 6,500 feet. I'm trying to go kind of out to the outer. Um, I want to go to southern Alaska, but I'm trying to go to the outside. We're up uh, a little more towards the middle. I'm going to the west, uh, out towards the coast. There's a mountain range in the middle of Alaska. To get over it, you have to go quite high, I do believe. Uh, or at least higher than we want to go, because we don't really want to get above 11,000 feet or so. Because the passengers with the oxygen. We do have, you know option to uh, put the oxygen on but I don't know if FS passengers will pick up that we're using oxygen so the thing is I'm afraid those are on full something I haven't been doing because I haven't been thinking about it just the cowlings these cowlings should be open now let me just make sure that they are yep Alright, 
parking brake is off. Let's push back. Let's announce our taxi, too, by the way. Select the runway for takeoff. 18, announce our taxi. Alpha, Alpha, Kilo, Kilo, traffic, back, Charlie, 143, is taxiing to runway 18. So shut over the GPS. I can't remember if I can go ahead and set this now or if it doesn't get deleted. Basically. Alright, stop the taxi. Because I'm thinking it, it when I hit the uh, autopilot, it ends up uh, taking that back to wherever exactly we are when I hit it. Alright, so let's put our taxi light on. Did I already? Let me check this. Nav back on. Taxi on. Couldn't remember if it was up or down was on. Alright, we got this small little runway. But plenty long for us to take off. This thing's got a ton of power. This thing really gets up in a hurry. It's up to speed in a hurry. But I'm hoping that that was literally the avionics de-icer. I just don't understand AC. What's the AC part about? See how we bounce along the gravel. These lights are really weird. It's like they just float. I, it's very odd to me. I was thinking about that the other day. How <laughs> that happens. All right, we're actually at the end of the runway. We had we taken off on 36. I guess it'd be a little bit quicker, but that's all right. Thirty-six is to the south, and that's where we're going. Go ahead and actually swing this around to the south. I'm going to go ahead and announce that we're taking off because uh, we're about to get on the runway. Am I moving these in the right position? Lighting lights. Yes, because that's extended anti collision. I'm getting kind of confused there. Which position up or down is off now? I think we're good now. I checked that a second ago, but still. I didn't hear anyone on the radios. Should have checked a little bit better, but I don't like I said I don't hear anyone. I'm gonna use two set uh, two notches on flaps. Uh, since we are on a short runway, short takeoff. Seems like they just float in the air. It's Odd. I don't know. We'll see. Bye bye to Kuyuk. Oh, those red ones, just, they disappeared and then they came back. Like I said, there's actually scenery, but it's not like for this area. He's got. I should put a link to it, I even though we're not using it, but he's got all kinds of scenery for like these little places in Alaska, but it's not really like scenery, it's like they're mainly fixes and stuff like that, and then he'll remove one building and say uh, the building should probably look like more like this and stuff like that, but it's kind of kind of cool that someone actually took the time. He's got, it's not yeah, just Alaska ones, like uh, I know I think he did Lexington Airport, Lexington, Kentucky, Kalex. Stuff like that. I'm not. I don't think it's like. It's not like greatly improved scenery, but just the fact that someone actually took their time and like little airports like this, like that someone did that is kind of nice. Kind of cool. Swing around here. All right, advance on the throttles. Not anywhere near full power. But on a 60 knots. Makes it a little more now. 80, 90. All 
I pause the rig gear up? Maybe I should have used a little more power. All right, start retracting the flaps. All right, flaps are fully retracted. Go ahead and hit the autopilot. I want to take a look here in a second. Nav. Vertical speed. See, now why it feels like it's, it's we're descending when we are. I'm not sure why. Now we're going up to... I don't know what... That was uh, very odd. Now we're going way above 1,000. Gonna stay there. All right, now she's got it. That's kind of odd how that happened. That <laughs> it worried me a little bit. I, I, there is no scenery. <laughs> yeah, I forgot we're in Quid. It looks like it, I guess it's marshy when it's not frozen. Although those buildings seem to be on the ice. I don't know. Still have our uh, speed indicator, air indicator, air speed indicator. We keeping an eye on that. I think we may have. Whoever said that it made me kind of think about that. That switch. So maybe, just maybe, that's it. We need it to be it. So hopefully she stops at 6,500 feet. Cause that's what we got it set to. Hopefully, uh, didn't get reset. I don't know. Might have to hit it at 65. If it goes over, then we'll just. Fix it. Gotta find things out like that about the plane. 170 miles of one hour and 10 minutes. Of course, not there went the airspeed indicator. Deck on it. So we, that's not it. What in the hell, man? One other thing. Should have just changed my views. Close the cowlings. Oops. Alright, we're at 2,500 feet. Man, what happened? Like, we were in. My goodness. Like, I, I couldn't fly in this in real life, man. This is like. This weather is just crazy. It's just crazy. You can't see anything. So I kind of keep searching out here. We can turn the taxi light off. Where could it possibly be? Like someone was saying top left, I believe, but there's nothing. don't see anything. Yeah, there's there's nothing. I I don't I don't get it. I don't I don't understand where it is. I really wish I could find it. Because I mean especially when you're coming to a small airport, that's when it's most Concerning because you obviously don't want to be too fast, but you also can't be too slow. If it's a long runway, you don't have to worry about it because you got plenty of time to stop. But we're coming to some of these small airports, especially in this series, and you got to be able to, you got to know your airspeed. Don't want to come in too hot. Uh, we've been doing all right without it, but uh, I really would like to know my airspeed. All right, well, let's go ahead and speed it up and uh, be back in just a little bit.
right, everybody's slowing it down. Already got down to 3,000 feet. We got down a lot quicker than I was thinking, although we were only at 6,500 feet. Here's airport list, Sheldon Point. There we are. Select a runway for a landing, 1 and 19. So I guess it doesn't really matter. I guess 19 it is. That's almost straight in. Alright, so actually it would be best because the wind is coming straight at us. Oops, come on now. Alright, runway 19, full stop landing. That's our position. Taxi light comes on. just now 24 miles away I don't think there's anything for this airport like ILS or anything like that it's XP see it's only 3,000 feet too that really sucks that airspeed indicator as that becomes a huge problem 3,000 foot runaway on gravel and you don't know how to answer Three miles out. All right. Twenty two out. I wish I could can't pop that panel out. Really kind of worried. Hopefully everything will be all right. It should be all right. Just need to figure out. I, I've looked through the manual and everything too. I just cannot uh, find it. How to keep that thing uh, from icing over. So if you all know where which switch it is, please by all means don't be shy. Tell me. That's just light intensity, so I don't know where. Uh... Yeah, I don't get it. miles out. I'm going to get down just a little bit. Actually, I'll just leave it at 2,700 feet. Sometimes we end up getting too low and it makes it difficult to see the runway. As you're coming in, 17 miles out now. So runway 19, so it's basically dead on. Maybe a little to the left. If I move the range down, it'll probably be out of sight. And kind of make it a little bit closer. 15 miles out now. Trying to look, can't really see a whole, tell uh, on the map so good because everything's so frozen. There, it's not frozen. It's kind of hard to see where the land and the uh, water meet. So that's where that right there, but I can't tell where the point is. is that I think that's it right there, the point. So it should be over in here. 13 miles out. 
I'm gonna pull back on the thrust just a little bit. So we're gonna have to be slowed down enough to uh, get the flaps and the uh, gear down and descend as well. And we don't know our speed. Not sure if there will even be any lights or anything to help. Is that the airport right there? I can't tell. 11 out. It should be near that area. The other thing is we don't really know the direction of the runway. Although it is runway 19, so it should be close to 190. I'll let this go down to 2500. If anything, we're too high. We're only nine out. Let's let it go down even further. Go to 2000. Just eight out, or is that it right? I think that's gonna be it right there, actually. Yeah, that's gonna be it, I'm pretty sure. Only problem is, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, autopilot off. So we're a little too high in that way. One notch of flaps. Ah, uh, jeez, I don't know our ears. I'm really scared of stalling out when we approach like this, too. Second notch of flaps, coming out. I'm at 50% throttle on the joystick, but I'm not sure exactly what that translates to. I'm trying to trim the crap out of it. There she went a little too much. Trim up. Gear coming down. I think we're still a little high. Third notch of flaps. Hey, she's right on the water, isn't she? Like Enter that runway. We're at 1200 feet. We're full flaps. Don't know if I should increase or not on the thrust. It doesn't look like there's any, there's no lights to help us either. No happy lights, messy lights, nothing. Just not thought about that. Alright, we're at 600 feet. I think we're coming a little fast and high. Obviously, at sea level. Three hundred feet, getting off the throttle a little bit. Two hundred feet. I think we're still slightly high. Coming off the throttles.
know if he came in hard or not. Stopped a little better than I thought we would. I buried the brakes in the reverser. All right. Actually, I mean, we had tons of room to spare, actually. Look at it. I don't... I don't know if it came in hard or soft. I, I, I didn't know we were going to have that much room, so I, I got her down a little more of a hurry than we could have. I didn't pitch up a whole lot because I was like, get down, get down. All right, so I guess we'll be parking right here, huh? Clear that runway. I think I forgot to record what to do. Landing lights, you can come off. Uh, anti collision, you as well. Let me see, did I forget? Yes, I did. Alright. Go on up here. And we'll probably just stop right here. I guess it's like the only parking spot here. They do actually uh, have service here as well. That's one of the reasons I picked it. Hot parking brake. Let's come down here. Taxi light can come off. Avion Express. Prop heat. Surface heat. Stall vane. Pedo heat. Uh, the lights, cut the fuel, Turn all that off, turn the overhead beacon and the nav off, not sure why this, some of this still has power. Seatbelts off. They never got scared. Finally, a hundred percent one. Open her up. Oh, I know why. I never turned the battery off. Or the generators, for that matter. Well, oh, battery. Reset off. All right. Reset. That'll go back to off. Oh, that's off. It just sounds like there's still something. I don't know. I mean, all this is off. There's just still that like electrical sound. That stuff is still on. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> laugh it up, lady. Laugh it up. All right. We're out. They're out. 174 nautical miles, time airborne, 1 hour, 1 minute, 43 seconds, flight time, 1 hour, 8 minutes, 19 seconds, time on the ground, 11 minutes, average speed, 169 knots, climb time, 642, cruise time, 4305, average cruise speed, 176 knots, descent time, uh, 12 minutes, landing speed, nobody knows, landing touchdown, coming down at 183.8 feet a minute, that's nice. Landing pitch of uh, 0.28 degrees, landing weight 89.13, total fuel use 444 pounds, climb fuel use 70 pounds, uh, cruise fuel use 299, using about 416 an hour, uh, descent fuel use 74 pounds, 100% in their opinion. Uh, ticket income 841 bucks, cargo 484, uh, services on that zero, fuel cost would be 217 in fuel. That's one thing about this plane. It does seem like it uses a lot of fuel. Nine in the airport tax is fifty-seven for insurance, so we made a real income of thousand forty-two bucks times the fifty gives us fifty-two grand. We need to make a little bit more than that. Uh, I think if we lower the ticket prices, also we'll get uh, get, get people get more people in. They thought we should be one hundred percent, so we increased two point one nine percent to seventy-eight point twelve. Perfect flight, 230 points, nice landing, 50. Perfect flight, no problems, 150. Land at the correct airport, 30. 
Sweet. We'll have to do... I was going to say we have to do longer flights to make more money, but we're only in Alaska, so... Uh, can't go real far. And I wouldn't want to go too far because I want to hit a, a bunch of these different airports. Company manager, there we go. Price setting. Economy, it seems like we're already low. I'm going to move it to 250. I don't know if these make any difference because we're basically economy anyway. So I'm going to just move those two down uh, 10 bucks each. And that will be it. Let me close that door. I didn't retract my flaps. Magically, they still work. <laughs> All right. Sheldon Point. There is nothing here. I didn't even see a town. And that runway goes right to the water. There's something right out there. Is it a buoy? Yeah, I don't even know where the town is. Is it over there? Yeah, I didn't see anything coming in. Nothing. It's just us in the wilderness. All right, but that's going to be it for this episode, everybody. I hope you all did enjoy it. Now we'll see you guys on the next flight.